Once you have calculated results in Homer Pro, you will automatically switch into the results view. From here, you can double-click on a simulation in the Optimization Cases table to open the Simulation Results window and view detailed results for that particular simulation. The Simulation Results window is organized into several tabs. The Cost Summary, Cash Flow, Compare Economics, Electrical, and Emissions tabs are always included. The Fuel Summary tab appears whenever you have any fuel-consuming components in your system. The Renewable Penetration tab appears whenever you have renewable components in your system. The Cost Summary tab is displayed first. We can see the system costs in terms of net present cost or annualized cost, and we can break it down by component or by cost type. The Cash Flow tab is where we can find the yearly expenses and revenue for the system over the life of the project. We can review it as a chart or as a table. The Compare Economics tab allows you to compare the performance of this system against another. Homer Pro automatically guesses that we want to compare this system to the diesel generator case and will calculate the return on investment, internal rate of return, and payback. The Electrical tab summarizes the electrical production and consumption of the simulation. We can see the contribution of the two diesel generators and of the wind turbine to the total energy production. We can also see the excess energy, which is energy that could be produced but couldn't be used. The bar chart at the bottom shows the production of each generation source on a monthly basis. At the bottom of the window, there are buttons to share your results, as well as to evaluate, view, and export the time series data from this simulation. The plot button brings up the time series detail analysis window. The hourly plot is displayed first. We can select from a list of quantities in the right pane, and they are plotted in the graph on the left. The left column of checkboxes will produce a single chart, and you can check boxes on the right if you want to compare different metrics side by side, like this. There's also a monthly tab, which allows us to see the average and peak values for any of these parameters by month. You can select the value you want plotted from the drop-down menu in the top right. The Profile tab plots the average daily value for each month. Again, we can select the quantity to plot from the drop-down menu at the top right. The DMAP gives us a concise way to display the selected parameter's value for every hour in the year. The DMAP is explained in more detail in the video called designed to meet your electric needs. The histogram gives us another way to visualize the simulation. It shows us how often the selected parameter value falls within a series of ranges. For example, I can hold my mouse over one of the bars and see the load value. I can change the plotted parameter with the same menu at the top left. CDF stands for Cumulative Distribution Function and can be used to get interesting cumulative performance information for the selected parameter. Finally, the DC tab provides a duration curve that gives us another take on that with the power output on the y-axis instead of the x and with the number of time steps instead of the frequency. Thank you for watching the Homer Software Training Series. We are here to help you learn about microgrids. If you're a trial user, please contact us at support at homerenergy.com for more information on how to become a licensed user. We have additional training available for our licensed users. Visit gethomertraining.com to learn more.